Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to use the sash cutter with the Stanley 45 to cut some sash. I have the plane set up with a main stock, sliding section and a fence. I've got these spurs tucked away because we don't need those. I'll install the sash cutter just like any other blade. Engage it in the adjustment mechanism. Loosely tighten it and then set the depth for quite a fine cut. Clearly this is quite a wide cut so we don't want to try and take too much material at one go. I'm positioning the sliding section as far over as I can without impeding on the curved section of the cutter. The fence will need to be set in its top holes so that it can ride below the cutter if necessary depending on the width of your stock. I've got the stock between dogs on the bench. It's sitting on a spacer so that the fence doesn't contact the bench at any point during the cut. Use the fence to align the cutter on the stock. The right hand side of the cutter cuts the rebate for the glazing. I like to start somewhere in the middle of the work. Keep the fence tight against the work. Apply forward pressure and a little bit of downward pressure. The right hand side of the cutter is digging in so I just need to make a slight adjustment to the lateral alignment of the cutter so that each side cuts evenly. And just make adjustments by slackening it off and tilting very slightly. You do need very straight grain material to make a good job of this. And I'm getting a bit of tear out on this wonky bit of pine. I'm not sure I said at the beginning, but uh, we've wound the depth stop right up because we're using the depth stop that's actually on the cutter. Gradually you start to see the profile we're looking for developing. It's going a lot faster at the far end than at the before end, so I'm lifting the plane onto the front of the soles towards the end just to lift out of the cup. As we're getting near to the, the final depth, I'm just going to reduce my depth of cut and make a few passes to finish with. And that's finished the first side. 
I've got some tear out here, but that's not to be unexpected. Now if we flip the work end for end, we can work the other side. If you want a really crisp finish for your sash bars then the best thing is to cut them slightly oversized with a 45 and then trim them with bench planes and shoulder planes. the finish will be so much better. Cutting sash with a Stanley 45 and a little help from the bench plane and shoulder plane. Not necessarily a piece of cake, but it's possible. Cheerio!